Hey everyone, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles and Camry's here helping me today. Hi guys! And we are going to show you a hairstyle that I'm calling the Double French Bun. Now this hairstyle I think is great because I think it looks cash enough that you could really throw on a pair of jeans and wear it, but I really think that you could wear it all the way up to prom depending on what you have on simply kind of changes the way the hairstyle looks. So you guys are going to love it. Now to begin this hairstyle, you can see that Cam's hair, she just slept on it out of the shower so it's kind of half curled, it doesn't really make any difference this time. We're going to go right about by her temple, I'm just taking a comb and I'm going to just part from about her temple down kind of in a semi C shape, down, hook around her ear and down to her neckline. And it doesn't have to be like a really large, large section. Just in this one you can see it's not super wide, it's not super thick and I may have even not quite gone low enough. So again, I'm gonna do it just right. There we go. Hook around her ear. So from temple, just down to like the right side of her neck. Now we're gonna repeat that on the opposite side. So I'm gonna hold this one out of the way with just a clip. If you're doing this on yourself, a clip would work great. If you have like, she could hold it for her, you know, because she's here helping me. So whichever way you want to do it is fine. Just get it out of the way. And repeat on this side. Now you're going to have them tip their head really far back so I can see a better angle. And I'm going to pick up hair right in the front and begin a French braid. This is just a normal French braid, so if you know how to French braid, you can do this on yourself. We will be adding hair in. And I'm going to take relatively small sections. I want this to be a really tight, crisp looking, smaller section braid, not a big, loose, big section braid. Now when you hit about the midway point of the head, so right about the crown, then I'm going to stop adding in hair and just do a few stitches of a regular braid. and then secure it with an elastic. Just to hold that in place for right now. And then I'm just gonna flip it up and over so it's out of the way. Okay, now I'm going to repeat that process, but on the nape of the neck and working our way up to the exact same point in the hair. So I'm gonna have her flip her head over. If you were doing this on yourself, you'd flip your own head over and then begin the braid. And bear in mind those part lines we have, so you kind of want to keep those, you won't see them when we're done, but you just want to be aware, aware of where they are. So we're gonna pick up hair again and start a French braid. Now when you're done and you're hitting the other braid, again, I'm just going to do a couple stitches I'm gonna have her flip her head back up. So we have our nice running French braid all the way up. I'm gonna join the two braids right here. Remove that elastic. And then this is where the extra little trick comes in. Because I think these part lines, they're like, eh, you know, I don't really love looking at them. So this is why we left some of this hair down. You're gonna take this hair and pull it up like this. And again, you can use a little bit of water, you could use spray wax, you could just leave it out if you wanted a more messy look, whatever you're, you want here, these are options. I'm just gonna comb this up like this. Very softly, you don't wanna dig your teeth in there because you don't have a ton of hair. And do that on both sides. Okay. When you get that all smoothed out the way you like it, go ahead and take that same elastic you were using before and secure it all together. Okay, now this is the point in which you can choose several different things here. You can choose to just leave it like this as a really nice ponytail. Not my favorite only because it hides the bottom braid, which I think is really cool. So you could just twist the hair and wrap it around and do a normal bun. 
you could do a braided bun, whatever you want. For our liking, we love to do the messy bun. So I'm just gonna open that elastic back up and pull this hair out just a little bit until only the last bit of ends are hanging out like that. And then I'm just gonna mess it up. So I'm just gonna take the hair and twist it around. And then when you get it placed where you like it, just take another elastic, put it up and over. And then, I know that looks like a giant mess right now, then you just take bobby pins and you just kind of lay things and tweak things to wherever you want them to sit to create a big, beautiful bun. Okay, and when you get it all pinned the way you like it, then you're finished. Again, lots of options here, regular bun, braided bun. I just wanted to make sure that you can see the braid going up the back and the braid coming down the front. Now, if you really wanna control some of the flyaways, just use some spray wax and you can just touch those edges a little bit and it's gonna hold everything in place. And let's do the final spin. So we have the front with the braid going in and then all the way to the back with also the braid going in, but we don't see any visible part lines. And you can definitely see how wearing it as a ponytail in the back or even just a regular twisted bun would give it a very dressed down feel if you were in jeans and a t-shirt. And of course, if you put on a dress like this, it could count for homecoming, prom, church, um, what else, weddings, anything like that. So then you have fancy do. Either way, be sure to give us a thumbs up if you love this video and especially if you like the versatility of this hairstyle. Leave a comment below telling us how you would wear this and be sure to go check out our website, cutegirlshairstyles.com. I'll put the link in the description box below or right here or maybe both because we have totally and completely revamped our website and it looks so good. I'm so excited about it. I feel like I had another baby like building this website out this time. Like it's super functional and the pictures are beautiful and it just, it's really gorgeous. So go check it out and we will see you guys next Sunday. Bye you guys. Bye.